Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Faye from Blue Tree Education Learning Centre. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tackle a typical PSLE math problem. I'm sure in school, you have learned various concepts, such as the set approach, price times quantity, and various ratio concepts. Some questions in PSLE are of a higher level, and it requires you to use multiple concepts to solve the questions. It is important that you are familiar with the individual concepts and be able to execute and use them tactfully and confidently. Let me show you how we can solve the following question. Let's start. Let's take a look at this PSLE 2017, question 15. This is from paper 2. At a walkathon, each participant completed either a 3km route, a 5km route, or an 8km route. One quarter of the participants completed 3km route, 920 of the participants completed the 5km route, and the rest completed the 8km route. For every 1km participant walked, $4 was donated to charity, and a total of $8,208 was donated to charity. So for part A, what is the ratio of the number of participants who completed the 3km route to the number who completed the 8km route? So we'll pick up the information in green over here that says one quarter of the participants completed a 3km rate. So we'll write 3 kilometers, and one quarter is given and I'm going to change it to a denominator of 20. So it becomes 5 over 20. So for the 5 kilometer race, it's just picking up from the information directly from the story and writing it down over here. And as for the last part and the rest completed the 8 kilometer route, we'll need to work it out by taking one whole minus 5 over 20 minus 9 over 20 to get 6 over 20. So to answer part A, all you need to do is to pull out the information from the numerator of the 3 km. So this is 5 and from 8 km, the numerator is 6. So the answer is 5 is to 6. And this is how we solve for part A. Let's take a look at part B. What is the total number of participants at the walkathon? So I've written the information over here for easy reference. I'm going to write them down in the form of ratio. So write down 5 units, 9 units and 6 units. At the side, we will write quantity, value and total. How do we know this is a quantity times value kind of question? Because the items mentioned are the number of participants and the value refers to the route, the amount of distance covered by each of them. So the first one will be 3 kilometers. In order to find the total, it will be 3 times 5, or 5 units times 3, which is 15 units of kilometers completed by this group of participants. And for the next part, 9 units of participants walk 5 km each, so the total distance covered by this group of people will be 45 units. And finally, for this group of 6 units of participants, they walk 8 km each, so the total distance covered by them is 48 units. And when we put them together, this is what we call one set. And this one grouping of one set of people walked a total of 108 units of distance. It is also mentioned that $4 will be donated for every one kilometer that the participant walked. So 108 units times $4 will be 432 units. And this is equals to the total amount that was donated to charity, that's $8208. So let's look for one unit, which will tell us that it is 19 sets. The question asks for the total number of participants at the walkathon. So we'll add up the 5 units, 9 units and 6 units over here, which gives us the answer 20 units. So 20 times 19, which is 380, is the total number of participants at this walkathon. So watch the video again to have a deeper understanding of how to solve such a quantity times value and a set approach question. So do not worry when you see a difficult question during exams. Tackle it slowly, use the three tips that I once shared in my previous videos, read the question carefully, highlight them, and think about what concepts you can use in the various questions. I hope this video has been useful 
Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media. You may also join me on my Facebook Math Discussion Group where we will be discussing questions on a weekly basis and I'll be sharing with you some math concepts and other real-world math questions. See ya!